Hello everyone, this is Suwon ITV Global News, and I'm a Suwon citizen announcer, Jung Dahi. Today we're delivering two news of Suwon City. The first news is about the energy consulting program that finds out where electricity is lost in the form of standby power. Citizen announcer Kwon Oh Hoon has details on the idea collection campaign aimed at cutting greenhouse gas emission. Another citizen announcer, Yung Tae, will then give you a preview on the Suwon Hwasong International Theater Festival. But first, let's turn to our Kwon Oh Hoon and hear the stories on the energy consulting program. It is not easy to cut your power consumption when the number of home electric gadgets continues to increase. The power bill can be cut just by keeping the switches of the TV set-top boxes and internet routers at the off position when not in use. Of course, but are you practicing it? The climate change policy team of the city government is now running a task force of energy doctors to pinpoint the blood suckers at home and guide the citizens to more efficient power management. The consultation can cut the power use by up to 20%. This year, 700 homes will be benefited on a first-come, first-served basis until August 22nd. Campaigns like this can help reduce greenhouse gas emission. As part of efforts to reach its goal of cutting the warming gases by 5% by next year, the city will collect ideas for the Zero Carbon Initiative until August 14th. Ideas are welcome on how to encourage the citizens to join the reduction campaign as well as on how to cut greenhouse gases in fields like construction, transportation, and urban waste. Active participation of the citizens will help build the eco-city Suwon, where energy consumption and greenhouse gases are slashed substantially. You might think that theatrical plays are rather boring compared to musical or pop stars' concerts. The nation's largest performing arts festival, set to open on August 13 in Suwon, will certainly change the idea. The 18th Suwon Hwasong Fortress Theatre Festival will be held at Hwasong Hengung Square and other concert halls around the city. This year, overseas theatre companies will stage unique outdoor performances, which have not been shown in the country. A large-scale outdoor performance, Natural Spirit, by the famous Spanish street theatre company Caris de Foc, is drawing much attention. The show will amuse audiences with 10-meter-tall giant sculptures along with colorful performances by dancers and acrobats. The closing show, Envoli Chromatic, jointly staged by French theater groups, is also highly anticipated. A dancer tied to a massive hot air balloon will show a dreamy performance in midair, floating above the Hwasong Hengung Square. The opening stage by 100 female Suwon residents of different ages will add significance to the festival. The festival will also feature a series of performances by a score of Korean theater troops joined by the theater major students. Admission to all performances of the 2014 Suwon Hwasong Theater Festival is free. It would be an unforgettable experience to jump into the unique charms of the theatrical plays and performing arts in summer night. That's it for this week. Thank you for watching Suwon ITV Global News. We'll see you next week.